What's up guys, from the Bro here, and in today's episode of the First Person Shooter Tutorial Series, we're going to be going over the main menu. Now, I know that we have covered a lot of mechanics so far for a first person shooter. A lot of things from interacting and reloading and switching weapons, but we haven't actually gone over any sort of menu flow, and this is going to be very, very important, especially as we go forward in the series. So we're going to start off today by doing a very, very simple main menu screen as well as a main menu level so that we can actually transition from the main menu level to the gameplay level. So if I close out of this here, I can go to my levels four that I've made, go to my main menu level that I've made, and when I come in here, I will see a menu, and if I hit campaign, I can play my match. Alternatively, if I reload this again, I can load up the main menu and hit exit, and it will close the game. So it's very, very simple, but we're going to be covering it today, and it will be a base for a huge menu system that we're going to implement in the series as time goes on. Now, before we get started, if you want to get caught up in the series, I'll link you to this playlist right here in the top right corner. This is the entire first-person shooter tutorial series. You can check out all the things I mentioned earlier, as well as anything else we've covered in the first-person shooter series to date. If you don't care about that and you only care about the main menu, I will link you to this episode right here, which is where we set up the appropriate scaling for widgets and things. So as you resize your screen, your widgets resize as well. This is something I end up doing for all my widgets, even if I don't show it in this episode. It will become apparent later in the series, and I highly recommend watching it. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need is a main menu area. And really this main menu area is going to be a level that we make where we can traverse through all of our menus until we're ready to play the game. So if we go to campaign, we might have campaign, the difficulty, save file, all these options. If we go to multiplayer, we might have the type of match that we want to play. If we hit exit, we might want to bring up a confirm prompt. So we have a lot of things we can do. We can hold all of that in the main menu level. So I've added a levels folder. Right click, new folder, levels and I've made a new level in here called Main Menu. You can do that by pressing Add, Level, or again, right click and Level, and quite literally just call it Main Menu. You'll notice there's nothing in here, there's not even light source. It doesn't matter because we're going to be handling this all with widgets right now. As time goes on, we may want to have actors in the scene that are visible within the menu, and then we will have to add those things, but for now we can do it all through the widgets. So this episode will work for both Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. If you are on Unreal Engine 4, you will have a button right around here that says Blueprints. You can click on that button and then go to Open Level Blueprint to go to where I'm about to go. Or if you're in UE5, you can see the button that I've clicked on. It is this little graph button right here with the arrow. And go to Open Level Blueprint. Now, what we're going to do is whenever this level is loaded, we want to load our main menu widget. So, you might have a few events in here. I've cleaned them all out, and I've just left Event Begin Play. But you can always search Event Begin Play. And when this level is loaded, we will do this logic. So what we want to do is spawn our main menu widget to the screen. We haven't created it yet, so that's not possible. But you can go ahead and type Create Widget now if you want, and just leave it as Construct None. We'll come back to this in a minute. Now let's go to where we want to create our main menu widget, and for me it is in first person, blueprints, widgets, and I made a new folder called menus and put it in here. Now to add a new widget, you just go to add, user interface, widget blueprint. If you are in Unreal Engine 4, as soon as you click this button, it will create the widget. In Unreal Engine 5, we have to choose the class we want to create the widget off of, and in this case, I want to create it off of the standard user widget. and call it whatever you want. I'm going to delete this new one and I'm going to use the one I already made but I called mine just main menu. Once you have the widget created, go into it. I'm going to show you what I have here but it's really simple. I have a canvas panel that I added to my widget. So again, if you're in Unreal Engine 4, this is going to be here by default. If you're in Unreal Engine 5, you can add one simply by searching for canvas panel and dragging it into the widget. Now my canvas panel is default, I haven't even renamed it or anything, but it is going to store everything in here for me, so it's going to be my container. Then I added a text widget to the canvas panel, and that is going to be my main menu title. So I'm going to show you everything that I have for this text widget. I did not make it a variable, 
I anchored it to the top middle, changed the alignment to 0.5 on the X and 0.5 on the Y, which basically just changes the origin point or the pivot point to the center of this object. This allows the main menu text to be right in the center. I changed the text to say main menu. I changed my font size. I changed my outline size. And everything else is pretty much the same. Then I've added three buttons. They're all going to follow the same behavior. So I have button, and I called the first one campaign button. It is a variable. We will need that later, although we don't need it for this episode. I've anchored these to the top left and just changed their positions. Nothing else here is needed. Then I added a text widget to that button, and I've called that campaign button text and I put the text as campaign. Basically, it's just the title for my button. Here's my outline size. And all is good. Now we have the multiplayer button, which is gonna be basically the exact same as the campaign button, just different positions. Also a variable. Then we have the multiplayer button text. The text just says multiplayer, it's the title of the button. Lastly, we have the exit button, which again is the same as the two buttons above, just with different positions. And exit button text, which has the text exit. Lastly, I have the background image, which is an image that I've brought onto the widget and I've anchored it to the full screen. Now offsets, I put the zero to negative one so it renders behind the buttons and the title. And you can put an image if you want. I just change the tint to be black by setting RGB to zero. But there's a lot of different things you can do with this. That is up to you. Having a background for the main menu is good though, and I would recommend it for now. Now, what we have to do is bind these buttons to actions. And so I want to bind my campaign button to go to our main level that we have. If I click on the button and scroll all the way down, I see events here. We have on clicked, on pressed, on released, on hovered, on unhovered. On pressed is the option that I want because it works for clicks and it also works for keyboard and gamepad inputs automatically. So I wanna use this one. So I'm gonna press the plus button here, go to on pressed. You'll get this event that you see here and what we want to do is open our level that we've actually been implementing all of our behavior in that is our first person example map so right click open level by name and we can put in the name i already did it below as you see but first person example map that's what the on press campaign button is going to do and that will transition us from the main menu level to our actual map Going back to the designer, I want to implement the exit button behavior as well. So I can click on my exit button and scroll down to my on pressed event, hit plus on it. On this one, I actually want to exit the game and Unreal has a way to do that. Literally quit game. All the default values for are fine. So quit game. Now our main menu is set up as we want it to be. So what we can do is go back to the level blueprint of the main menu right here and we can now select our new widget that we made which is the main menu that's what i have here now we actually have to display it to the user after creating it so i want to drag off and hit add to viewport and this will display it to the user's screen so in your level bps begin play it should look like this then if you were to play the game from the main menu and hit campaign you would start playing your game. One other helpful tip you might want to know, if you go to edit project settings, you can go to maps and modes and the editor startup map here, you can change to your main menu. And now whenever you come into your game, the main menu will be the first one that loads up. You might want to do this for the game default map as well. This just means if no level is loaded, it will load this level. That's up to you. You can customize it to your liking, but I'm going to change mine. Anyway guys, that's all I got for you, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe. It does more for myself and the channel than anything else you can do, and I just really appreciate it.
Huge shout out to my YouTube membership, Patreon, and Discord supporters. You guys keep these series alive, and I am so, so happy that you are enjoying it as much as I am, so thank you so much. If you had any issues with this tutorial, or any of my tutorials, feel free to join the Discord community. There's a link in the description. It's completely free. I'll be happy to help you. Like I said, guys, that's all I got, so thank you so much for watching. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.